What is up you guys and welcome to the 5 de mayo noche de pendejadas pre-party Yo sé lo que se están preguntando amigas, yo sé que se están diciendo Alan, ese es el puto sé que tanto estabas presumiendo que ibas a tener no pendejas de Déjales explico primerito lo que va a pasar y lo que está pasando Antes que ustedes jump to conclusions So como les había dicho la semana pasada wey Yo les había dicho that noche de pendejadas episode 1 was gonna premiere literally today Cuando ustedes están viendo este video Pero como Pueden ver, güey, obviamente no se mira completo. Obviamente, it's not noche de pendejadas como ustedes lo conocen. Déjales explico por qué todos modos estamos haciendo this 5 de mayo special. So, first of all, you guys, para empezar, this is not the set. This is not even like the first guest that I'm having for season 4. Lo que había pasado, amigos, era de que... You guys remember como la semana pasada les dije que I was getting my little set done y todo eso. Pues, pasó que it wasn't done on time. Um, they're actually gonna go ahead and bring it to me tonight, pero no completo, todavía van a venir mañana en la mañana para terminarlos entonces I was like, you know what, yo les había prometido algo a mis pendejas yo les había prometido que hoy van a tener un video, so I was like, you know what why don't we still have the 5 de mayo special, but just make it into a little pre-motherfucking party y también otra razón, you guys, es que yo tengo la presión, no nomás de ustedes pero también tengo un contrato firmado that I've already pushed a couple times because stuff haven't been ready. So I was like, you know what? Tengo la presión del contrato. Tengo la presión de ustedes. So I was like, you know what? Les voy a dar aunque sea a little preview of what this season is to come. So por eso como pueden ver, you guys, I am here. Y no estoy solito, wey. Estoy acompañado de dos invitados super, super especiales. Please help me welcome to the pre-party Irma and Danny. Hi. Hi. I feel like we have been here forever. I'm like, again, no, because tell me why this is what Danny's fourth time. I feel like I'm little. This is my show now. <laughs> ah, no, honestly, Danny has been on the show numerous times. Irma's only been on it. I think once. What? Yes. Pero saben que yo sé que ustedes van a decir, oh my god, we want a solo Irma episode. No se preocupen, you guys. Me and Irma have thought about that. In cuanto, mm -hmm. you know, she hits a weight goal que ella quiere, so she can come on the show and talk about more, you know, based on her experience with weight loss. Pero ahorita los tengo aquí a los dos porque I was like, you know what? Since we're not really doing the first episode of Noche de Pendejadas, I was like, and I need to get something out. Me los traje to talk, me los traje para chismear y también me los traje wey para tomar. Porque ustedes ahorita cuando están viendo este pinche video es pinche 5 de mayo. How about tomorrow 5 de mayo and we're not doing shit? Dude, Doesn't literally, like I was like, should I go to the bar or something? <laughs> I was like, or should I just go to BJ's and fucking go take a shot and call it a fucking 5 de mayo? You did tell us yesterday how you yeah. were like, doing. I was like, nah, I was like, nah. I want to go out. I was like, I'm sorry you guys are boring. Yeah, do people sorry. usually like celebrate? There's a lot of people that do celebrate Cinco de Mayo. I mean, for I feel sure. like a lot of gringos celebrate it. Yes. And it's very much like, hmm, el Cinco de Mayo bien apuntado, ¿verdad? Pero mm. el resto del año, no quieres saber nada de los mexicanos. A lot of gringos be celebrating like if it's their fucking holiday. Uh, yeah, they make a whole ass thing about it. And do you guys like, know what they celebrate though? It's, it's Cinco de Mayo. It's basically Independence Day for Mexico because they took, or I don't know. <laughs> I honestly don't know. I think I it, generally don't even yeah. know. I think it was. it's just a drinking day for Mexicans. Yeah. Ah! Just an excuse to get fucked up. No, honestamente, pienso que el 5 de mayo se celebra independencia. No, eso es como el 15 de noviembre. 5 de mayo, I feel like it's a celebration when they like want something. 5 uh, de mayo is a celebration of drinking. Uh, I'm like, so and that's drinker. what we're going to call it. Alcoholics. Ahora, aquí tenemos una little botellita. Oh, this is Irma's I, first time drinking. This huh? is the first time drinking. I, would, I have been able to drink, but I've been trying to avoid it. But I was like, you know what? It doesn't hurt to have one little shot or maybe two or maybe three. Ah, y una vez al año no se daño, güey. So we're going to go ahead and get some shots started. Yay. You guys, como pueden ver, aquí tenemos nuestro little shot glasses. Let me go ahead and stand up straight porque siento como que mi pinche posture, you guys. Now that I have lost weight, parece que me siento así, güey. Ooh, that's me Déjame as fuck. Sentir. I feel like you have so much weight. Ah, ah I weigh. Bitch. <laughs> Constitution. Oh, Constitution. You guys, so ya vino mi abuelita. Mi abuelita está ahorita en la cocina, güey. And she just told us que el 5 de mayo se celebra la con... Constitución. Para que sepan, ¿ok? Ah, she's like, pinches niños pendejos no saben nada. She's like, let me give them a lesson. Okay, here. Oh, my gosh. And there's no chaser? Oh, shit. We're doing it raw. Literally. 
But I mean, the good thing is that it is cold. It has been in the freezer for how long? So I mean, it's been in the freezer for like days, bitch. No, like weeks. Got some pinchy mess weight. Yeah. So I mean, oh my god, that's a lot. I think it's gonna hit good, to be honest. Let's Ugh. see how fucked up I get. Am I able? To, am I gonna get fucked up from just one shot, even if I have the balloon in me? I don't know, babe. Let's find out. <laughs> okay, ready? All right, ready? Para cinco de mayo, abajo, pal centro y pal cinco de mayo. Oh my god, you guys, I'm scared. You know what? I'm depressed. And that shot made me more depressed. I'm, oh. I'm okay with it. I'm like, no caritas. Let me go ahead and contarles a little bit of lo que hicimos hoy. Today was... Oh, yeah, guys. Yo tengo el pinche estrés al cien. We woke up. Danny, tell them what the fuck we did when we woke the fuck up. I don't even remember because I'm so tired. Like, my feet are aching so fucking bad. And to top it off, like, I, like... I don't know why I just woke up in a bad mood. Like I just, I'm so fucking over it today. Like I, I'm just so over it. Like oh. I'm just so over it. But like whatever, it had to be done. Like I'm, I'm those type of people that like I like to clean to let my stress out. So I definitely over clean today, and like it bugs me because sometimes like we're bored or no estamos haciendo ni madres, and then there's plenty of things to do in the house. Yeah. So like when I get into this mindset, I'm like wait but alan does help so why am i mad and then i go wait but i'm cleaning this like this is my my mess why am i mad like am i just mad because i'm cleaning like <laughs> I I mad mad because I pissed? today was like really fucking stressful so let me go ahead and tell you guys a little bit of today so the set was supposed to be done i think what like look here's the background of everything that went down okay <laughs> here's a little fast motherfucking recap okay so alan had to have this podcast done a long time ago did he wait the last minute absolutely. fucking lutely <laughs> so he got a call from his lovely manager today and you know she had no other choice but to put her foot down and be like look there's an episode that needs to go live today and you gotta get your ass up and work <laughs> so literally we got up and we were like we need to go to home goods and we need to figure this shit out because like we need to have something we so need to basically have something. you guys como Dani les dijo I've already pushed the launch of Noche de Pendejadas I think it was supposed to come back what like March the March yeah. even March. before the party yeah before the party you guys but honestly I wasn't ready for it to come back in March because I was like bitch I just finished season 3 in yeah. November like I want a little bit more of like rest time because then, aunque ustedes piensen que es un pinche video wey no es un pinche desmadre teniendo un pinche podcast especialmente when your podcast is like having new guests every single and week and then yeah. especially when you're doing this shit like more by yourself imagínense like you guys like I hate when like they th they think it's just grabbing a camera and like let's go like it's yeah, not no. just grab a camera and let's, let's go like it's a motherfucking whole ass mission to build absolutely everything and then not only that for imagine like it just doesn't look the way that you want it to. I don't know. To me, ah, me, I, I'm going to be a motherfucking, um, what's your name? Uh, Michaela. I'm Michaela. My pot too. Ah, <laughs> I, and it's just so hard to be an influencer. I'm just so tired. Yo quiero dormir. Yo quiero mamar. Yo quiero bailar. Ah, quiero putear. So basically, I was supposed to launch earlier on in the year. And I was like, no, I don't think I'm ready. So yeah, cuando ponimos a new launch date, you guys, which was supposed to be like end of April, I started working on the podcast. And obviamente esta vez, como ustedes saben, contratamos a otra persona para que nos hicieran el set, which it wasn't their fault either. Yeah. You know what I mean? Just shit. I wanted an exaggerated set, which you guys are going to eventually see now. Next week, porque se los prometo, you guys, que para la semana que viene, ya van a tener el primer episodio de Noche Pendejadas, because they're actually going to come install it today. Yes. Pero sí, amigas, era un puto desmadre. Hoy nos levantamos como bien apresurados, güey. We went to freaking Home Goods, compramos las sillas en donde estamos sentados, compramos esta pinche palm tree, que ni la pueden ver porque está muy alta. But it's beautiful, But it's low cute. key. Like, I think you guys should I keep that. Low key, we're going to keep the chairs too for outside. No, honestly, the chairs yeah. were going to return because I spent like $400 just Shut on these chairs. No, the chairs were only 200 no they were a hundred dollars each my love those models, they're pretty weak because they're i mean with my weight i feel like they're already ah, really I'm, like, I'm, like, I'm, mean. I'm like it's pretty sturdy to me <laughs> so yeah you guys so this is why we're having a little pre-show so déjale digo lo que vamos a hacer you guys so en el pre-show de hoy es un poquito diferente obviamente okay. you guys are used to me interviewing everyone asking them about their life which 
you know, for the actual season, season that will happen. Pero como es el pre-party, we're gonna do more como un Q&A. Voy a estar aquí preguntándoles preguntas bien atrevidas a ellos, you guys. I did go ahead and ask you guys on Instagram que me preguntaran y no van a creer, güey. Ustedes vinieron rápido así con las putas preguntas, entonces están listos. I'm scared, mm -hmm. bitch. What kind of questions are they gonna ask? Let's hope we don't get canceled 2.0. Uh -huh. For real, round two. I'm like literally going on this podcast is like literally getting canceled for me. Yeah. Literally, you're like, ya ni quiero ser. Ya ni quiero estar aquí. <laughs> Do you guys want to start off with like good questions? Yeah, let's like start off strong. Yeah. I feel like the stronger, the better. Yeah. Okay, Perry, let's start. And I will be the openest book ever. Yeah. If you think I like to open my legs, imagine when you read me, baby. <laughs> open my mouth and say the truth ah. okay so la primera pregunta um, so obviamente I want to give a little backstory. so if you guys don't know Irma got the gastric balloon I actually gifted it to her and then Danny's thinking of getting his nose so una preguntita que viene de Sam the Brat ah ya empezamos mal con ese nombre Sam the Brat quiere saber Danny if you felt some type of way or like jealous for the fact that I paid for Irma's surgery and not your nose job yes ah. <laughs> no, absolutely not. You like, I feel like me and Irma like are put into this competition thingy yeah. where like I need to like one up, it, like or one up her. Like we're friends. Like it doesn't matter. And if you guys don't know, I haven't really spoken a lot about my nose, but with my nose job, with my nose job, I've talked about it on live the first time around. We got the the date and everything. Pero se me hizo muy caro. And honestly, with my type of budget, yo no tengo that type of money like laying around. Mm -hmm. So with that being said, like I don't really care. Like we had to move it, and I'm proud that I'm gonna be able to pay for it. Yeah. You know, some part of it myself. And Alan did. Pay a good amount, which is pre pretty much a, a, an equivalent amount of what he paid for Irma's surgery. Yeah. And at the end of the day, it's like we're not <laughs> jealous between each other. Yeah. Like, si yo le compro a fucking mansion y le compro una casa land, like a regular I'm casa land. <laughs> No, no, like, no, like, uh, but like, like, why she get the mansion? Uh, no, or the other way around. Uh, you're okay with yeah. it. Like, but like, no, we're not but realistically. Like, yeah, it's like, why do people like to compare and try to think that we have like something in between, or there's having types of tension? It's just people like trying to like create just, the scenario. Like, just be happy for us that yeah. somebody paid for our, for uh, our things, uh, uh, like, or be jealous that you don't have someone to pay. Uh, exactly. Maybe you're jealous. You're jealous you know of our friendship. So it's so crazy <laughs> because I've actually been getting that like question a lot, like. I'll get DMs or I'll go on live and people will be like, oh, it's fucked up that like you're only trying to help Irma out with her mm -hmm. surgery, but like you don't give a fuck about Danny's. Amigas, esto es lo que pasa and those are the assumptions I get cuando la gente en verdad no sabe de lo que está hablando. Um, if you guys don't know, Irma's surgery sí pagué, pero también me dieron un descuento porque obviamente promocioné, que es algo que yo ya he explicado muchas veces. Y también a Dani, también a Dani cuando él primeramente fuimos a lo de su nariz, nos dieron también un descuento, pero no no fue gratis. Entonces, cuando nos dieron el descuento para Dani, amigas, I told Dani, yo nomás te puedo dar esto, que fue una cantidad muy buena, you guys, pero también pónganse a pensar that Dani's surgery, because it's actually like going under the knife, like yeah. actual surgery, surgery, cuesta más que el globo. Entonces, yo And then not only that, we did our research vibes, and this doctor, I have been wanting for like a fat ass minute. Mm -hmm. So like, it was even better that like, we did a whole promo for it, pero como les digo, like, I feel like, it's just don't like it doesn't matter who paid who yeah. like and at the end of the day you guys like even look i'm gonna be straight the fuck up irma's surgery was eight thousand five hundred right like that's how much that surgery goes si tu vas al pinche doctor eso es lo que te van a cobrar me dieron un descuentazo y yo pagué la diferencia de lo que era el descuento ya con Dani, Dani surgery casi eran 20 mil dólares, güey. Yo tampoco no soy el pinche Make a Wish Foundation. Like, yo no puedo estar regalando pinche surgeries a todos left to right. So, I was like, okay, lo que le voy a poner a Irma también se lo voy a poner a Dani. And I just feel like there's no need for me to be like, if I do this for someone, I need to freaking like do the same and the same capacity for someone else. You know what I mean? Like, a Dani ya le pagué su surgery de sus ojos. Ustedes no se acuerdan, you guys. I literally paid for his LASIK surgery cuando él 
él y mi hermana se le hicieron. Entonces le tocaba a Irma y también con Dani, obviamente, como les dije, casi la surgery de Dani fueron como 20 mil dólares. Yo le dije, Ira, babe, yo te quiero mucho, yo nomás te puedo ayudar con esto, plus the promo, y tú te la vas a tener que averiguar. Because yo tampoco no puedo estar pagando por todo, you guys, es demasiado pinche dinero. Y pues, no, no se puede, amigas. Y él comprendió, he literally didn't even ask me to like pay any set, like para decirles que nació de mí, you guys. Cuando yo le dije a Dani, you know what, babe, like, yo te quiero regalar this much y tú averiguate lo de rest. He was like, oh my God, babe, are you sure? Like, yo ni pensaba que me ibas a ayudar con nada. Entonces, cuando la gente trata de meter cizaña, güey, it's like, I don't know por qué tratan de meter cizaña si nosotros tres sabemos what goes on behind the scenes. No matter the amount of cantidad que diste, you gave it to us and it just doesn't fucking matter. Like, it just came through the heart at the yeah. end of the day. Yeah. Like, it doesn't matter if, like, at this point, Fuck whoever's fucking saying all this bullshit because uh -huh. at the end of the day, like, you're doing this because you truly do love us and you care for us and, you know, you just, you're just that kind of person. And I also do want to say something, you guys, because I feel like mucha gente va a decir, oh, like, qué mala onda. I do want you guys to understand que si tengo mi pinche dinerito alzado, güey, pero tampoco no soy pinche millonario, no soy pinche artista, no soy pinche cantante que tiene un chingo de dinero. Like, yo también tengo que ver por mí, por mi futuro. Entonces, yo les di a ellos lo que yo pude darle y si no era suficiente, entonces ellos si en verdad quieren lo que, you know, se quieren hacer, también tienen que trabajar y obviamente es lo que Dani está I'm, haciendo. I'm like, like, girl, like, he's not my dad, he's my <laughs> sugar dad, <laughs> ah, but not my good. dad. Which I is just, like, why Dani had to make the decision to, like, you know, move your surgery date. Yeah. Because Bitch, I don't no know, podía. I don't know, I don't know what type of people you guys are, but I am not about to be handing out, like, like, I'm not about to be accepting every free handout. Like, mm. I am such a motherfucking, like, Um, prideful. Like I'm a prideful person, where it's like a la mejor si Alan gave me like an amount, but like I wanted like my nose job is something algo pa mí, no pa él. So yo lo quiero pagar. So that at the end of the day, when somebody asks me, you got your surgery. Like, how much did you pay or anything like that? Like, I paid. Like, I did it. Of course, I'll still give him his credit. But, like, I worked my fucking butt off to fucking pay the rest of it. Yeah. So, anyways, point blank period. Next. La próxima pregunta que les tenemos. Should we, should we take a shot if we don't want to answer the question? Sure, but I'll answer every question. Uh, Irma, esta preguntita es para ti, amiga. Me están preguntando. Does Irma still find it hard to live with her parents? Oh, girl. Loki, it's an everyday struggle in a sense of like, I feel just feel like I have no privacy because I share a room with two other siblings. And yes, I'm literally nearly 24 and it's kind of like, girl, like get your shit together easily. You could have fucking moved out. But like, I feel like I just haven't had really good like work ethic and I haven't been able to keep jobs <laughs> <laughs> that I haven't been able to move out and shit. So I feel like I'm just working so... I'm just trying to work really hard and trying to improve in my work ethic because, of course, right now it's not cutting it. Like, I'm getting to the point where I really do want to move out because, girl, like, yes, I want to have my alone time. I want to be just stuck in my room. Nobody bother me because, of course, we all have those moms, our parents that yeah. just, like, barge in. They're like, Mija, can you help me with this? Hey, Mija, can you help me with this? And like, you're all in the middle of masturbating. <laughs> I'm like, Ooh, the, wait, don't come in. It's the, no. So let me finish. <laughs> <laughs> which, which I feel like that's super important. Like, como Irma lo acaba de mencionar, you guys, because I feel like, you know, Irma is a good girl. You know, she's a good person, pero también tiene sus defectos yes. en muchos lugares como todos. You know, we're, none of us are perfect. Y como tú acabas de decir, Irma does lack a lot of, like, work ethic. Yeah. Ustedes saben, Irma Why do you think I got fired? Like, Irma what the has, fuck? Like, literally, bitch, she got fired for not doing her job. Like, no, not showing up on time. Like, calling out. I literally would steal. Uh, uh, <laughs> the case is for free. Uh, no, but honestly, it's very much that. Like, yo siempre ya, después de que la despidieron, güey, yo me acuerdo que yo he tenido multiple combos yeah. with Irma because the way I see it, you guys, and I feel like I sometimes get hate for not helping her enough because it's, like, it's not gente, your job, though. It's not My not job. your job you're my friend but there's a point where like you can do so much like at the end of the day it's my fault and it's mm -hmm. my responsibility if I really want to push forward and actually like get my shit done you know porque mm -hmm. mucha gente you guys que siempre nos comentan like oh my god Irma's always with you guys why don't you guys just like have her live in her house and this is gonna sound tough you guys pero estas son pláticas que en verdad como adultos hemos tenido con Irma the reason why you know she doesn't move in is because there's no space for her. y yo sé lo que van a decir porque ya lo han dicho wey <laughs> Alan you have a whole ass other guest room where Irma and Danny filmed their podcast room 
Exactamente. Ese lugar lo usamos como trabajar, you guys. Y imagínense, yo trabajo muy duro, you guys. Yanni también trabaja muy duro y pagamos aquí lo que pagamos para vivir como vivimos. And like, we're not gonna make ourselves uncomfortable, take out all this shit from yeah. like the places and where kinda, we have them. And then kind of think about it this way. Me and Alan have been together for so long and we've moved in together at a very young age that we are so comfortable being by ourselves. Fue un tiempo where we wanted to consider having Irma with us. We were, before we even got this house, we were like, we need to find a house yeah. that's four to five bedrooms or at least like have a, a duplex in the back so Irma can live with us. Irma was right on it. She was like, I'll pay my rent. Like, I have no problem. We were also not going to pay her, yeah. uh, charge her like extremely amount of rent, you know? So, pero, yeah. pero imagínense, like, Imagine both me and Alan que ya estamos pensando de una persona que ni es mi hermana and we're taking her in and to consideration vibes like we we're doing so much already to you know to try to help our friend yeah. and now, now this time around because of how old she is she's already starting to realize that you know what I have to get my shit together I do not want to live with my parents <laughs> and you guys already know how hard it is to live with Mexican yes. parents Mexican parents don't believe in any type of privacy See whatsoever. Y más really porque don't. even she shares a room. Yeah, Exactamente. I share a room with two other siblings. And there's no privacy. Like regardless of her parents, like bitch, you don't have privacy because you fucking share a room. Yeah. Pero yo pienso también una cosa muy importante, you guys, is that like como les estaba diciendo, my grandparents also live with me. I give them a whole ass room. I'm not gonna kick out my grandparents para que mi amiga ande bien a gusto ahí de huevona. No, verdad? Yo como les estaba diciendo, we've had a lot of convos with Irma, and like the reason why we're talking about it, you guys, is because we also want to be real with you guys and we want to be open and honest um i've had a lot of convos with irma where a veces si me desespero way because i'm like girl like te di toda una pinche plataforma en donde si tú te pones las pilas bien 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 puedes ganar suficiente dinero para poder moverte y agarrar tu propio apartamento pero ella no ha ponido de su empeño ella no ha ponido de su parte todavía al 100% i feel like irma still like in a place where you see social media more as a hobby y no se le ha metido en la cabeza like fuck I can make this my full time job y ganar dinero bien y tener mis propias cosas tener dinero de sobra entonces también yo no puedo estar también obviamente dándole todo en la mano wey y que no le cueste si ¿Sí me entiendes so as a friend I feel like I always encourage her siempre le estoy diciendo Irma ponte las pilas wey like tienes esta pinche plataforma también con Danny and I feel like I tell this to everyone yeah. that like has gotten a platform through my videos and through my content like miren yo ya les di lo más grande que les puedo dar, que es una pinche plataforma donde ustedes, si ustedes quieren en verdad ponerse las pilas, pueden ganar dinero. Yeah. Si ustedes no se las quieren poner, es su puto pedo, no el mío. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But And it's crazy because even parents don't really think that YouTube is a job. Yeah. I had, I, I told you yeah. this morning, I texted you this morning. I don't know Tell if I told about that. Danny. Uh -huh. So literally this morning I texted, um, I texted both, I texted Alan basically and he was, and I was like, hey, like Loki, my brother, like, confronted me about something and he was like what and i was like yeah that my mom told him that i had a youtube channel and he was my mom was literally showing him like the videos and stuff and he was like yeah like that's really good like i'm that's really good like keep it up like do it like, like a supportive this, brother yeah, he vibes. was actually mm -hmm. being supportive which i was so surprised yeah, because about it's the brother ah, he's like i want clout <laughs> he's like please don't like imagine no honestly when you texted me that your brother confronted you yeah. i didn't think it was because you know like to be supportive because it's not that they have a bad relationship but just, Irma just talk. they don't talk a lot with that, it's the oldest not brother. even not even I love you vibes no uh, like I love my brother I love you know him dearly and I care for him but it's just like it's weird and awkward when we give each other like a hug or like say we love each other and stuff so like just imagine that kind of sibling like relationship so when he was telling me that I was just kind of like Ooh, you know what, what I thought like it kind of made your day vibes low in a way yeah you know what I thought when you told me he confronted you bitch yeah. I literally was like oh my god he probably got mad that he saw a video of Irma recording Recording in your guys' room <laughs> because if you guys don't know, Irma yeah. shares a room como les acabamos de decir, yeah. with three of her siblings. So I was like, imagínense que se enojen, like, hey, bitch, don't be filming in a room. We don't want people to know how we live. Mm -hmm. You're my bien campante, güey, like, firmando sus videos. Sí. Literally, but it's crazy because, like, like you said, Irma obviously doesn't like living at her parents' house, pero yo pienso que ahorita estás. I've seen you put in more work lately, though. Yeah. Porque ya tuve otra plática con ella otra vez. Le digo, wey, tú sufres porque quieres. Yeah. Y ya la miro ya bien entrada, wey. So, <laughs> 
hopefully que esta vez sí se ponga bien las pilas, güey, yeah. y se ponga a trabajar para que ya no tenga que vivir con, you know, sus papás. No, y también, and that, yeah, and not even that, but it's just like being able to finally be financially stable because mm -hmm. yeah, después de I got fired in January, just imagine I've just been do, like relying on these basically like YouTube checks and of course we get paid through like the podcast and stuff, pero apenas me cubre para los pinches viles and I'm here like, fuck, bitch, like I got my health self in a fucking chokehold and shit, like why am I suffering like easily? For example, my sister, she works two fucking jobs. Yeah. She's literally up at four o'clock in the morning, gets home until like fucking 10, knocks out the whole night and then goes again and I'm like, why do I not have that same work ethic? Like, yeah. what is wrong with me? Like, I'm but the also, problem. But also, <laughs> but also just remember that like as much as, don't overthink it too much because like you're still young yes. and like all, maybe our parents at this age, like yeah, they had kids and like they had to figure it out. But the good thing is that you don't have kids and you don't have to yeah. figure it out and there's absolutely nothing wrong with it. So yeah. just at least now you realize that, oh shit, I have to put do get my shit together because yeah. if not, bitch, I'm gonna be homeless. Like, really? no, like yeah, really I though. Really, get my car. Really though, go. if she didn't have her parents, if she didn't have us, if she didn't have anything, really? she would be able to just do the bare minimum mm -hmm. and maybe just live in her car or. Be in a shelter or something. Or something. I, don't I don't know. Which I feel like it's also una cosa que también quiero recalcar, you guys, is that like there's never been a topic where it's like también te quiero decir a ti, Irma, like I don't want you to also feel like fuck. Alan and Danny are doing so good. It looks like they have their life together. I need to be up in their level. No, you don't have to be up in our level. Pero lo que yo siempre te digo es like work hard, bitch, para que tú te sientas como que que tú sola te puedes dar por valer. You know what I mean? Like that you can do shit on your own. Que no necesitas de nadie. Que no necesitas ayuda. No necesitas andar pidiendo prestado nada. That. You know what I mean? Because tú tienes. You don't need to go back to a nine to five. Because honestamente, way Irma gets good views. You guys support the fuck out of her. It's just up to her if she wants to take it to the next level and be like, you know what? I'm gonna stop taking this as a little hobby and make it my freaking full time job. And I'm gonna make fucking money. Porque de que puedes puedes, friend. No más de que de, de que quieras es otra pinche cosa. So la próxima pregunta que tenemos es la gente quiere saber what is the least Favorite thing about each other. Be honest. <laughs> Empieza Irma. Hey, why me? What Ataca. the fuck? Hold on. I'm like, porque quiero ver what, like how bad we can go. Ah. You know what? Is this the rose challenge now? No, what's our, <laughs> no, maybe yeah. start with me. Okay. Um, Be honest. I won't get bad. I would say that you have a habit of like just leaving shit right there like when you're done using it you just leave it and like you just let it be there for like the longest time ever until like somebody else picks it up ah I'm like until Irma has to clock into work and I have a big girl honestly yeah. though, it's because you know what it is you guys I feel like mentally I have like a lot of shit going on yeah. that like when I'm done with one thing dejo ahí and I go do something else so I feel like I do have that bad habit but you know yes, thanks to the habit of trabajo Irma <laughs> ah, you done it oh what about Danny oh. what's Danny mmm She's like that. I'm brown. <laughs> <laughs> what is Bitch. it? Shut up. Let's see. Um, I'm gonna say. I just like let me make sure I watch my words. Uh, ah. Let me rephrase. I hold on. I'm trying to. She's think. like nothing. She's like I love him. <laughs> He's perfect. <laughs> what is it? He's the perfect person in the world. <laughs> <laughs> I can never say a bad thing about my BFF. Ah. Bitch. <laughs> um. I think is why can't I think of anything right now? Ah, I'm actually surprised. What the fuck? I'm like, that's not what you told me in private the other day. Ah, I'm like, say that. Ah, okay, please. well, remember and I'll yeah, go. No, come back to me. Come back okay, to me. so I feel like with Alan, for sure, is that he's not mindful of others. Um, for Consider sure, it. like not not even in a sense of like like money wise because eh, he's mindful of that yeah. but um mindful of just others and like he just kind of like se preocupa like for himself like let me give you guys an example so para que so it doesn't sound bad yeah. okay like for example like let's say we're all going out y yo tengo la costumbre of being like oh you guys like let's grab our waters and stuff like that or and he sees me with literally everything everything in my hands And I literally, like, I need to grab one more thing. And he knows that I need to grab one more thing. He'll go to the car. Ah. I'll go out, grab all the stuff, put it in the, in, the, in the car. And I'll still go back and go grab that one thing that I just needed. And I'll put it in the car. And then he'll be like, oh, my God, babe, I'm so sorry. I promise you, like, I didn't even do it on purpose. Like, I just have a lot of things going on. 
that's really nice. And then for <laughs> Irma, Irma is definitely not the brightest in our friend group. <laughs> um, so you she's know, she's very forgetful. She's a very forgetful person about everything. Yeah. So it's just very much like it's difficult to have conversations with her because like she will, I will have, forget. She'll forget, and I'll be like, "Did you? I uh, did you remember the story that I told you yesterday?" Uh, uh yeah. no you what, when did you say that <laughs> i was like i said it like this time at this day this hour the weather was like this and she's like no no, no you never remember. said anything or when you tell me to do something or like that i have to get something done like for example the 420 fucking episode that we had for ltp that was one of them examples yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so yeah that was bad okay that so really mine bad. a ver a quien voy a atacar primero voy a empezar con el que me atacó peor dan ah, i didn't ah, attack you i what thing, i feel like we should be getting mad ah, i'm not getting mad <laughs> seems ah, like you're redder than a than bowser one thing that bugs me about danny is a mi no me gusta pelear con el wey because even if he's wrong he will like make you fucking think he's right like there's so sometimes bitch where like i know i'm not doing anything wrong or I know que la cago, where I know that he is literally just exaggerating, overreacting. Y el wey te hace sentir, wey, como que si todavía estás mal. And I'm like, no. Like, and it gets to a point where I'm like, no. Like, there's times where I just let him have it if it's not like a big problem. I'm like, you know what? Like, if it makes you feel good that you're right, like, te la dejo. Y no te dejo ganar. But then there's times where I'm like, no. Like, you're not right. Like, yo sé lo que pasó. Yo tengo razón. Y hasta que... I literally have to like it'll literally be like back and forth back and forth until he gets the point but I think that's one thing about Danny and then about Irma I just feel uh, you're not as responsible as I wish you were not just with like us but with yourself like I wish she was more responsible about like you know being less careless Yes, because I feel like one thing I tell Irma sometimes, you guys, is like, friend, like, sabes que, like, sin hacerte sentir mal, but a veces siento como que te vale verga todo lo que está pasando a tu alrededor. I describe Irma as a leaf. As a leaf, I'm going with the flow. Going with the I'm flow. I'm just going of with the flow of the things, and that's really, really bad because I feel like that's why I'm in the position I am today. Yeah. Because I literally haven't fucking done shit. So it's she'll like, like know, like she's the type of person, bitch, that like she knows she's like going through something. Like let's say she's like, oh fuck, I need to figure out something about my car or about yeah. something. You know what I creer, way que la way she'll literally like be like, okay, I won't deal with it right now. I'll deal with it cuando me estén quitando el pinche carro. Cuando <laughs> me quede la puta calle. Dude, like you me with are my fucking like insurance that. and. Shit. I haven't gotten my medical insurance, so help me out with Otherwise, that. Anyways, go back to me, Irma. Uh, <laughs> yeah, what is the meaning you know about Danny? Just thought of it. You always have to have the last word. Oh, yeah. yeah. You always, 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 no matter what, no matter what, you always have it's to have It's because I want to be heard. I want to be heard. I want to make sure that you be bitches. One. No, I feel like the last couple of times I've been doing really, I have, you and have. I'm going to tell you guys, I'm going to tell you guys something honest about me. Like, I might be the sweetest bitch I'll ever meet. <laughs> <laughs> but but no, I know that for a fact that I've but I'm sour because uh-huh. of the fact. Look, I'm not blaming my past for sure because I've moved on it. Mm-hmm. But I know for a fact that I've had a lot of anger build up for me from my definite trauma and past, and that when I talked about it on on Noche de Pinjadas from last season, um, I definitely felt like there was a weight lifted off my shoulder, and I definitely learned a lot from myself and from my past. So now it's como it's it's very much like like the last couple of fights that i've had with alan like they weren't really that prolonged i was just kind of like getting over it like there's times where i'm like why am i even mad like i just need to get the fuck over it vibes (laughs) or like i just need to like just shut the fuck up and not say absolutely anything because my mouth can get me places it's just like i have always been a type of person to defend myself because i need to defend myself but yeah como que these bitches can't control me (laughs) and these bitches can't get to me so now yes i will have the last word because back then I could they never. shut me up. <laughs> <laughs> no, and honestly, that is very true. Daddy does like to have the be- last word. Yeah, yeah a veces le dejamos, güey. Dije, digo, sabes qué? Yeah. Ah, sabes qué? Me niño. siento mal por él. Ah. Ah. I'm like, he's healing. Like, let him have his. Uh, yeah. okay, he, 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 healing his inner child. Uh, also, good. one thing que me están preguntando mucho is more towards you, Danny, because obviamente es tu casa aquí también, which I feel like we've talked about, but I feel like we've never talked about it online. How do you feel about my grandparents staying with us? Does oh, it make I you love awkward, Alan's uncomfortable? grandparents they've never ever once made me feel uncomfortable and um i 
if, for most of you guys that don't know, my grandma passed away when I was 12 years old. So even when the beginning of meeting her, I was, she would remind me so much of my grandma. So it would be sometimes a little difficult to like be around her because like I would mentally not be prepared that um, she looks so much like her. Yeah, like I would just imagine her and then she's like the sweetest soul you'll ever meet. Like, yes. and my grandma was very much like that. And you know, they lived very much similar lives with their when with their past and, and stuff like that. So with that being said, said um i love that they're here and alan always tells us both of us like will you guys cry when my grandma passes away and yeah. i go i don't think that's even a question no, i don't even sure. think i'll be able to heal myself because it's like imagine like imagine if you have a grandparent and your and your and your partner has their their grandparents still and they welcome you with open arms from the very beginning mm -hmm. and you know that's kind of like your replacement mentally yeah. uh from your actual grandma or grandparent that passed away so it's kind of like a like a double shot if it happens you know god yeah. forbid and you know we kind of have to be realistic yeah but va pasar and god god forbid you know i just hope me and alan are in a very good mental state and honestly you guys i feel like for me to answer that question too like because i feel like a lot of people are like oh do you ever feel like they're invading your privacy or like they're there honestamente no way my grandparents are the chillest fucking people ever we literally be with our fucking desmadre yos ni en cuenta like they literally live here but like yo nunca me siento como que like i have to be with them like every second of the day because like they know where everything's at they freaking cook for themselves they wash for themselves they shower themselves so i don't feel like they hold me back of course like if they get to the age where like i need to be more on them and like i need to be more like taking care of them of course i'll do it and if i can't do it myself i'll probably hire someone to help me out para poder tenerlos aquí conmigo pero no amigas yo me siento muy feliz yo me siento muy happy de todavía poder tenerlos aquí porque yo sé que mucha gente um, muy cercana aquí como Dani y Irma um, que no tienen a sus abuelitos con ellos you know what I mean so para mí es algo que me da mucha alegría me da mucha felicidad poder tenerlos aquí y poder estar con ellos en en estas en estos momentos porque si ustedes no saben you guys my grandparents especially my dad's parents were there for us a lot growing up they did a lot for us and they always made sure that like our me and my siblings never felt left out because we were always like the pobrecita family like you know like when like in your families like there's like that tía that has money the tía that's better well off the people that have careers and then there's you like the pobrecitos we were that family like and I feel like all my cousins always got like everything and my grandma would always be like no I mean me gusta que mis hijos se sientan menos and my grandma and my, and my parents would like get us like those things to make Aww. us feel like you know we weren't getting left out just because my parents no tenían el dinero que maybe mis otras tías sí tenían so no uh, para mí me gusta you guys yo me gusta cuidarlos um, sometimes it does get hard you guys especially when I have a lot of plans and like you know um, they have their citas that I have to take them to and like they have their doctor appointments but I feel like I make it work the good thing that I work from home and like I'm my own boss that I'm able to like like, even if I do have plans, I'm able to switch them around and make it happen for them. So, if my grandparents are watching this, if, which I'm sure uh, they And are, if they understand English. Uh, uh, si mi abuelita lo está viendo, you guys, which I'm sure she is, porque siempre mira mis videos. La quiero mucho, abuelita, We love abuelita. you, abuelita. Uh, uh, Alguien me está diciendo, how does Irma's family feel about her always being at your house? So, literally, Loki, sometimes my mom, not to throw her under the bus, but she does say, like, mija, like, don't you think they get tired of seeing you don't you think they get tired of like you being there 24 7 like ah, and i'm like yes <laughs> be like, i'm like señora out. take your fucking child <laughs> have her on a leash so she won't get out <laughs> <laughs> but no honestly she does tell me that but i'm like no honestly like if that was the case i feel like they would have fucking already told me shit and i feel like you had you guys have like Boundaries. told you know we have boundaries and i feel like you have told my mom like hey no like we're fine like don't even trip like we want your daughter there for a reason you know like and we want her there to clean up our mess i just kidding. <laughs> she's here to work what do you mean <laughs> no like and for people that have always asked us even our friends like they've asked us like does irma not bother you guys like yeah, si fuera chicle vibes? Literally. i'm like sometimes yeah. no no the good thing is that we have a really good relationship where like irma like i could literally be like irma we're gonna fall asleep like you can stay over or you can leave and she'll be like yeah i'll stay over for like an hour and then i'll leave or sometimes i'll be like or if not i'll sleep over or whatever mm -hmm. i mean no me importa like it doesn't matter we don't care we're so used to our company that it's just yeah. like 
yeah. it's definitely okay. Like, there's times where even Alan's grandma would be like, oh, the star mom. Yeah, and I'm like, girl, babe, she don't live here. <laughs> ah, but she's at home. She's working. No, but, yeah, everybody just got so used to that. If you guys are going, like, there's, they're always asking, where's Irma? Where's mm-hmm. Irma? Where's and Irma? honestly, I feel like Irma's become, like, a part of us. Obviously, she's not a part of our relationship. <laughs> not the ah, no, quiero que piensen eso, wey, porque no, I know no. que oso. Ooh. But I feel like, icky. Uh, 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 Irma's booty. always with us that I feel like she comes with us. So, like, let's say we're going to go out to a friend's party. Nos invitan a mí a Danny. Irma ya viene en el paquete incluido. Whenever we have, like, Thanksgiving dinner, Christmas dinner, yeah. Irma ya tiene su asiento. Like, okay, you get a packet three for $39.99. <laughs> <laughs> like, Irma literally has her asiento. I feel like another question que me preguntó alguien is, like, do you guys ever feel like Irma ever overstays her stay? Honestamente, no, way Because whenever, like, okay, I'm not going to lie. I'm going to be straight up. No, and yeah. We've had combos, and, you know, she's mm-hmm. always told us. Ha habido veces donde, like, Irma will stay with us for like a month and obviamente cuando estás con alguien a lot yeah. like there's things that you're like oh yeah me está cansando esta wey like, like, yeah, vice versa. like I'm sure she's like oh my god they're so fucking annoying but I feel like we have like a good friendship and yeah. like we have put boundaries in the place that like if you know something if we feel some type of way I'd rather her be like hey friend you know like we're we want to like you know, can you go home tonight? Yeah. Like, we want to like, stay home today. Exactly. Like, so when you guys tell me that, or vice versa, like, I'm like, hey, you guys, I'm actually going to go home. Like, I want to chill. I have, I want to have, like, a solo day and stuff like that. Because literally, no joke, we're literally with each other, like, almost 24 every single mm-hmm. fucking day. Like, no, like probably no just once, uh, once month. every two weeks or once a month. That we're not say. together. Yeah. yeah. But it's then when of- we're not together, she's still <laughs> come at night. And Which especially now, mind. and especially now, I, I enjoy it a lot more that she's here because it's like we film a lot of the content and everything is like a lot more like cohesive within yeah. each other. The only thing that is like right now that is that Irma's trying to get a hang of is of course like this the same thing with it is the worth ethic yes um but the management. good thing is that now that she has a lot of time to think for herself yeah. she has definitely had a lot more time to be like oh shit this is my life and i don't like it yeah. and you know it's a good thing i feel like this is this is the part where Irma's gonna start loving herself and i'm so happy that mm-hmm. that she is gonna find this happiness that she damn well deserves like everybody else no 100 percent. honestly like i've always say this i feel like in every episode but like thank you to you guys because i feel like i i wouldn't be like thinking this or anything if nobody tells me because you guys i like how our friendship is very upfront and very straightforward like bitch you're gonna tell it as it is and that's how it should be as a friendship if you really care about each other. Yeah, because I feel like, like, especially me, look, literally, bitch, no les estoy mintiendo, wey. Oh, my fucking phone died. But ahorita se los voy a poner aquí, wey. Someone literally asked us, like, if we ever get, or if I, Alan, they said, Alan, if I ever get annoyed with uh, your financial problems. I oh, don't yeah. get annoyed, you guys, because, like, I am very understanding that, obviously, like, Danny, e. Irma, and everyone around me, a la mejor no tiene las mismas, you know, the opportunity opportunities que a mí se me han brindado pero a veces no es that I get annoyed or that I'm like oh my god like again she's having like problems but it's more like frustrante como les acabo de decir yeah. earlier it's more like I know she has the potential I know you know she has the tools she has the audience she has everything to like make her life easier y a veces ella no escoge like the doing the choices, work yeah. you know what I mean yeah. that sometimes I'm just like amiga te voy a ser honesta estás en donde estás y estás batallando porque quieres no yeah. porque debes de, de batallar mm-hmm. si ella quisiera güey, ya anduviera igual que yo ah, ah, o mejor güey, porque eres mujer y yo siempre le he dicho you guys the thing is like if you're a woman in the industry you get more fucking deals you know what I mean but you know what it's just um it ends up going to show like a lot of people have always judged our friendship online yeah. and um always have like this understanding of what it is like mistreatment or whatever the fuck you guys want to call it but in at the end of the day if you guys don't really see it we all just kind of push each other to be successful yeah. and if it means to be tough on each other there's times where Irma will be tough on me there's times where I'm tough on Irma there's times we're all tough at Irma mm-hmm. on Irma huh? and oh, we're all everybody. tough on everybody you know what I mean yeah. so with that being said it's just like um, if you guys don't have that relationship with your friends then uh, find new friends on me and you know what's crazy because I even do get DMs sometimes of like girl like you're so, you're getting so manipulated you're like so delusional like you literally shouldn't be in this type of friendship that's not what a friendship is and I'm like girl like I've had plenty of toxic friendships in high school and in elementary and in junior well middle school because 
because I like, yeah, I've just always had toxic friends friendships. So like, I know what type of friendship that I am in now. And it's honestly the healthiest one that I've been in probably. So. And you know, what's crazy. I actually had that literally screenshotted sure. right now. Cause someone asked us if, you know, especially I feel like for me and Danny, because I feel like a lot of people love Irma and rightfully and rightfully so like Irma is a great person. I feel like me and Danny are more down to like show like yeah. our, the way we fuck around with Irma a little bit more. And I feel like mm -hmm. that ends up causing us to get a lot of hate. Like, Oh my God, you guys treat her back. And it's annoying. Pero igual como nosotros tratamos a Irma online. You guys, ella nos trata behind the yeah. scenes. Yeah. Like if y'all want to see that, I mean, I can. A lot of people <laughs> like we're asking this person as like, has the criticas of your friendship ever affected you? And I, for me, honestly, you guys, I think no, because I know as a friend, I know what I've done, what I bring to the table, how, you know, what kind of friend I am. So cuando la gente me quiere pintar que, oh my God, you're this horrendous friend. You treat people bad. Like oh, you're shit. this worst person ever in the world. Yo sé en mi corazón, güey, que yo no soy así. I know that the people around me, I want to see them succeed. Porque imagínense, güey, if I don't want to see them succeed, I wouldn't be fucking sharing my platform with them. I wouldn't be sharing my life with them. I wouldn't be sharing los lujos y todo lo bueno y lo malo de la vida con ellos. Obviamente, like, we're gonna have disagreements. Obviamente van a, va a haber cosas que me van a caer gorda. No nomás de Irma, pero también de mi, de mi pareja, Dani. Yeah. But that's real fucking life, bitch. Like, nadie te va a caer 100% bien because todos we were raised differently. Everyone has different ways of thinking. So there's gonna be disagreements and there's gonna be little things that we don't all agree in. But de que yo soy un buen friend, you guys, I like to think I am. Um, I feel like, no, I feel like I'm just kind of over it. Like, I am so bored of this narrative. So like, yeah, I'm just kind of over it. And I feel like como la gente como le gusta, la gente siempre quiere algo de que hablar, güey. So I feel like la gente nomás miran un, una porción and they want to run with it and be like, oh my God, we need a villain, we need a villain so bad. Pero honestamente, güey, like one thing I've always said, like if you guys think Danny treats me bad, if you guys think I treat Danny bad, like we're both adults that if we really want to walk out, we can. If you guys think we treat Irma bad, if you guys think Irma treats our, us bad or she doesn't respect us, I feel like we're all adults in this relationship to where it's like if we don't feel appreciated if we don't feel like you know none of us are doing what we none of us are giving each other like the same amount of freaking respect and mm -hmm. you know energy in the friendship then we can fucking walk out and i feel like mm -hmm. that's yeah. one thing that people fucking forget you know what i mean like we're fucking blown as adults we're all fucking 25 bitch no somos unos pinches niños chiquitos entonces el momento que nos sentamos any of us that like ya no más we can walk the fuck out. Get the memos. And then quick question for you guys. I know that you guys said like, I don't like, I don't bug you guys being around like 24 seven. Ah. No, like, you know, being realistic, but for like on a real note, like as a couple, as a relationship, do you guys feel like you need like your alone time or like you feel like you do need those moments to be alone and just like, you know, like when you guys had your Vegas trip, like you said, like you had the best time ever. Like, would you guys be definitely be more into like taking alone trips and stuff like that? Well, yeah, like our, having our alone time is definitely different, but like that's stuff that you will, you won't know until and, I get in the room. No, 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 no. Like I'm just saying, because you're not, you're not with us. Like there's plenty of times where we're plenty alone. Like, right. like we have enough time alone. Like yeah, it doesn't, but I feel like I, I feel like I don't give no. you guys like enough. Be, and the good thing is that you, we were both friends with you before we got into True. a relationship. Yeah. So I feel like with that being said, like, I don't, I feel like you're both of our friends. So it doesn't make, it doesn't bother us yeah. whatsoever. And I feel like for me, it's like, yeah, we're always together, pero no es como que si Irma duerme en el medio de nosotros, como que si cuando estamos cogiendo, ahí está Irma viéndonos, no. Like, obviamente, Irma doesn't sleep in our room with us. Yeah. And like I said, this trip, you guys, I did get a lot of hate and a lot of questions about like, oh my God, why are you guys leaving Irma behind amigos? The fuck, bitch, it's your Ponga, anniversary. It's our anniversary. Like, que la traigamos como pinche chicle. Do you want me to be a photographer for you guys? Like, bitch, we were going to Vegas for a seven-year anniversary. Queríamos ir a divertirnos, a coger. <laughs> andar como pareja obviamente no nos íbamos a llevar Irma I feel like it just depends like we don't mind having you around but I feel yeah. like there is moments like and like we said there is but like when we made you this trip yes like we've said it like hey Irma we're gonna go alone mm -hmm. there's been times where like we're gonna go to dinner alone like yes. and she doesn't get but her. why I because I feel like it's also important as a relationship mm -hmm. that we have those moments and mm -hmm. that we have like those conversations and like just those you know momentos como pareja y no como siempre estando con Irma but no exactly. I don't feel like you bug okay. I'm like to me <laughs> <laughs> Eso es todo lo que les tenemos para el día de hoy, you guys. I feel like this video was just a little bit more like a little Q&A, a little chit chat con mis amigos. Pero sí, amigas, les, les prometo, amigas, que el pinche next week, el próximo viernes, van a tener 
el primer video oficial de Noche de Pendejadas. Estoy yo súper contento, güey. Y muchas gracias por coming on this very last minute. Ay, ay, but thank you so much for having us on here. I didn't think you would want me. Ah, <laughs> she's like, again, I'm like, I'm tired. I'm going to go to sleep now. <laughs> no, pero honestamente les agradezco mucho, you guys, because we literally had to pull this out today. Yeah. And I literally have to get to editing as soon as I turn off the camera because I need to have this up for you guys tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Pero feliz 5 de mayo, amigas. Espero que se la pasen rete bien. No se les olvide tomarse un chingo de shots. With that being said, you guys, los miro la semana que viene with the new fucking set, with the new everything y todo el, y todo el desmadre como se los había prometido, you guys. But yeah, with that being said, thank you guys so much. Don't forget to follow Danny and Irma on their social medias, which I'll leave down below mm -hmm. and on the screen right here. Y también no se les olvide to follow me on all of mine. That way you guys won't miss the season premiere next week of season four of Noche de Pendejadas. With that being said, I love you guys and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. 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 Go watch it.